We're going to show you how to enable versioning and content approval in your document library. First, go to your document library. If you don't have one, click on New, Document Library, enter the name of your document library, and click on Create. For now, we're going to cancel and go to our confidential document library. To enable content approval, we'll click on Settings. From here, we'll click on Library Settings. And under General Settings, we'll click on Versioning Settings. We'll click on Yes under Require Content Approval for Submitted Items. Then we'll decide if we want major versions or minor versions, or major and minor versions. For now, we'll select major version. That means versions 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, we'll decide who can see draft items. We'll select the last option which means only creators and approvers will be able to see draft items. And then we'll click on OK. We'll go back to our library and we'll notice that we have this new column called Approval Status and we have two new views called My Submissions and Approve and Reject Items. So the next thing we'll do is set up approvers for our approval to work. We'll go into site permissions and then we'll create a new group called approvers. We'll click on create group. We'll call it approvers to give them elevated permissions. We'll assign them design permissions, which lets them edit, update, and delete items. Okay, and then we'll click on create. Then add users and start adding users uh, separated by commas. You can add a message. You can choose whether to send it as an email and then click on save. Once permissions have been assigned, we can start testing our approval, out-of-the-box approval, by logging into another user as another user and uploading a document. So with major versions, as soon as we upload a document, you'll see that the approval status changes to pending. Logged in as another user, that user cannot see a document in the library because it is still in its pending state and it hasn't been approved yet. Only approved items are visible to all users in that library. Log back in as the manager. The manager can go and click inside the document Go check if everything's all right, and then click on the three dots, click on more, and then choose whether to approve or reject the document. We'll test approval, we'll click approved, add a comment, and click on OK. Once, click, once approved, we'll see that the approval status has changed to approved, and this document is now visible to all users. We will check version history to see the major versions. And as we can see, it's 0 0.1.0. We'll go back into the settings and try major and minor versions. We'll also choose to save a few draft versions as well. And then we'll click on OK. Now, when you make any changes to documents, it will be assigned the draft approval status instead of pending. This gives users more options to make changes to their documents. And when they're ready, then they can go and publish the document. And then their approvers can go and approve or reject it.
with major and minor version. Draft versions are assigned minor versions. So you'll, once we look at version history, we'll see that uh, the versions assigned are 0 0.1, 1.1, and once it's published, then we see it as 1.0, 2.0. As we can see, these drafts are now assigned minor versions. When the user is ready to publish the document, click on More, Publish. We'll add a comment, click on OK. And now that the document has been published, the approval status change is depending. And now the manager will be able to go and approve this document. To approve, click on the three dots, click on approve, add a comment and click on OK. We'll check the version of the approved document and we'll see that it has been assigned a major version once approved. Now we'll test a rejection of a document. We'll go click on More to publish. We'll add a comment and click on OK. The document st the approval status has changed to pending. The manager will go in, click on the three dots, click on More, select Approve Reject, and this time we'll reject it. Add a comment and click on OK. Once rejected, the approval status changes to rejected, and this document won't be visible to any other users in the, in the library. We'll go check the version of that document which was rejected, and we'll see that it has been rejected in its minor version. 